Hey everybody! Thank you for coming back and checking out my latest video. Thank you so much for all of your comments and response in my last two videos, part one and part two. I really, really appreciate it and I've loved the private messages that I've gotten so far. Uh, I did just start a new Instagram channel, so if you would like to check that out, it's at beingjennyb and that's being with normal spelling. My name Jenny, spelled J-E-N-N-I, and then B, B-E-E, -E, for bumblebees. <laughs> my uh, nickname growing up was Jenny B, because my, my maiden name starts with a B. Anyway, uh, today I wanted to talk about something. In my last video, I talked about different things that were helping me to cope with stress and anxiety and making positive changes within myself and my well-being. So something that I have been doing is called tapping, um, also known as emotional freedom technique, but um, Nick and Jessica, whoa, <laughs> Nick and Jessica Ortner um, have written a few books on the topic and um, have a really great app that has a whole series of um, tapping sessions and they're between like 10 and 15 minutes long usually more like 10 or 11 minutes. And I think the app, there's a monthly price. I went ahead and just bought it for the year and I think it was $49 or something. Um, this video is not sponsored, um, but they could if they want to. <laughs> uh, I'm big fan. I'm a big fan. So anyway, um, but they do have free tapping sessions on um, the app as well. So you don't have to purchase anything. I actually downloaded the uh, free app um, before I decided to commit to the $40. So you might check it out. I thought I would go ahead and do a, um, tapping, uh, session with you guys. If you wanted to join, I'm no expert and I, I hope I'm not breaking any copyright rules. Um, they, I believe it's one of the free ones on the, on the app. So, um, if, Jessica and Nick are watching and have a problem, please let me know ASAP and I'll remove it. But um, like I said, if you check out the app, there's quite a lot of free ones. And there's actually a lot of information on um, their website as well. So uh, I, I pulled up, I'm going to read a little bit of what Nick Ortner said about the basics of tapping. This is going to be probably a longer video than what I wanted, but... I know there's going to be a lot of good information. Tapping is a combination of ancient Chinese acupressure and modern psychology that works to physically alter your brain, energy system, and body all at once. The practice consists of tapping with your fingertips on specific meridian points while talking through traumatic memories and a wide range of emotions. Okay, let's get started. I hope you can hear it okay. Welcome to Releasing Disappointment Tapping Meditation. <clears throat> Disappointment comes when something we had hoped for or expected to happen didn't work out. Feelings of disappointment are a natural part of life. Side note, you will probably see me closing my eyes um, because that's how I tap in, tune in the best. Also, sometimes I will get emotional, um, so if you see me crying, that's why. I'm just feeling it, so if, if you're doing the, this along with me and cry too, just let the tears flow. You will feel better after, I promise. We hold us back when we make the disappointment disempower us from moving forward. Let's begin by simply noticing how the disappointment shows up. Notice where you feel the disappointment in your body. It might appear as tightness in your stomach, your chest, or your throat. On a scale from zero to 10, how intense is this feeling of disappointment? Mark it in the app now. So in the app, it gives a range from zero to 10, 10 being I feel the most disappointment and anxiety, zero meaning none. Um, I am feeling it in my shoulders and neck uh, primarily, and I would say if I'm really tapping into my body and the things that I've discussed in my last 
few videos. I would say the disappointment I'm feeling right now is at, I'd say, a nine. So I'm gonna mark that. Let's begin by taking a nice, deep, calming breath in and out. We always start by focusing on how we feel, focusing on the disappointment in order to release the intensity with tapping. And then we turn towards the positive. Tapping on the side of the hand, repeat after me, either in your mind or out loud. Even though I am so disappointed, even though I am so disappointed, I accept myself and how I feel. I accept myself and how I feel. Even though things didn't turn out as planned, even though things didn't turn out as planned, I acknowledge my disappointment. I acknowledge my disappointment. And I'm open to finding peace. And I'm open to finding peace. Even though I have been so disappointed. Even though I have been so disappointed. I accept how I feel. I accept how I feel. And I'm open to feeling more relaxed now. And I'm open to feeling more relaxed now. Eyebrow, all of this disappointment. All of this disappointment. Side of the eye. I can feel it in my body. I can feel it in my body. Under the eye, things weren't meant to be this way. Things weren't meant to be this way. Under the nose, I had my hopes up. I had my hopes up. Under the mouth, and I was left disappointed. And I was left disappointed in myself. Collarbone, this weight of disappointment in my body. This weight of disappointment in my body, literal weight. Under the arm, it leaves me feeling stuck. It leaves me feeling stuck. Top of head, I feel defeated and discouraged. I feel defeated and discouraged. Tapping on the eyebrow point, think about the biggest reason for feeling this disappointment. I'm gonna guide you through the points. And right now, don't worry about saying anything out loud here. As you continue to tap on the eyebrow point, simply focus on what is causing you to have this feeling of disappointment. side of I, allow what happened to come to mind. Feeling safe and centered, you simply notice what happened and the emotions that arise when you think about it. Tapping under the eye, feeling more relaxed and calm as you see, feel, and think about the situation that left you feeling disappointed. Under the nose, being present in this moment, notice your reaction to that disappointment. Under the mouth, Begin to recognize and release the feelings of disappointment. Just breathe and let go. Collarbone, ask yourself, am I allowed to release this feeling of disappointment? Notice any resistance you feel to feeling better. under the arm, acknowledging the disappointment and reminding yourself that it's okay to feel this way. Moving to the top of the head, imagine what it would feel like to release the stress and pain of the disappointment. 
You may still wish for things to have been different, but notice how it feels like to release the weight of the disappointment. What would life feel like if you could let it go and feel hopeful that good things are on their way? Now let's move back to the eyebrow point and repeat after me. Things didn't turn out as planned. Things didn't turn out as planned. Side of the eye. But right now and right here. But right now and right here. Under the eye, I'm okay. I'm okay. Under the nose, everyone who has inspired me. Everyone who has inspired me. Under the mouth has had moments of disappointment. Has had moments of disappointment. Collarbone and how they respond to that disappointment. And how they respond to that disappointment. Under the arm makes them inspirational. Makes them inspirational. Top of the head, I choose to inspire others. I choose to inspire others. Eyebrow, by not letting this disappointment hold me back. By not letting this disappointment hold me back. Side of eye, this was just a short chapter. This was just a short chapter. Under the eye of a much greater story. Of a much greater story. Under the nose, I can wish that things were different. I can wish that things were different. Under the mouth, while still having hope, something greater will come. While still having hope that something greater will come. Collarbone, maybe I'm being redirected. Maybe I'm being redirected. Under the arm, to something even better to something even better. Top of the head, I replace this disappointment with determination. I replace this disappointment with determination. I got this. I got this. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, notice how you feel. Check in again on the intensity of the disappointment you were feeling on the scale from 0 to 10 and mark that down on the app now. I think that took me down quite a bit, so I'm going to put 5. Well done. Again, in just a few minutes of tapping, you calmed your nervous system and you allowed your mind and body to know it's safe to let these feelings of disappointment go. If the intensity is still a bit higher than you'd like, feel free to repeat this tapping now or in the future. It's always helpful to tap while focusing on your specific feelings and experiences. Remember, disappointment is a natural part of life, but how we react to disappointment determines our future. You got this. Until the next time we tap together, this is Jessica Ortner. Take care and keep tapping. Thank you, Jessica Ortner. Thank you, the tapping app, the tapping solution app. So, as you guys could see, I did get emotional. Um, it's If you did it with me, I hope you got something out of that. It definitely, for me brings up some pretty intense emotions and then switching that perspective, the combination of her talking it through and then tapping on these points that I guess are magic points. Um, it really helps me. So I hope you'll check it out as something that could help you. And I look forward to seeing your comments and talking to you soon.